Good morning. Good morning. Um, today we are going to do something uh, a bit more international for uh, mostly Indonesian people. Um, it is if you are interested in visiting Germany or other European countries, we are going to show you today how or what you need to take care of for the Schengen visa and countries that are part of the Schengen agreement. Yeah. Um, jadi hari ini uh, agak sedikit berbeda dengan video yang sebelum sebelumnya. Kita mau kasih tahu kalian bagaimana cara untuk apply visa Schengen. Um, so, what is the Schengen area? The Schengen area is a agreement from European countries um, to allow free travel within the borders. Um, just a quick side note: the Schengen area is not the European Union. Those are two different things because Switzerland and Norway are not part of the EU of the European Union, but they are part of the Schengen Agreement. Which means that if you want to visit Switzerland, you can with the Schengen visa. If you want to visit Norway, you can do it as well. Other countries that are part of are France, Italy, Spain, Germany, of course, some Eastern European countries, Latvia, Estland, uh, Estonia. Um, the country that is not part of it is the UK. It was never part of it, and now it's also not part of the European Union anymore. Yeah. Jadi, um, apa sih Schengen visa itu? Schengen visa adalah uh, visa yang kalian butuhkan jika kalian mau pergi ke uh, wilayah Schengen. Dan um, seperti uh, sudah Hendrik bilang, wilayah Schengen dan European Union itu enggak sama ya. J jadi maksudnya adalah. Um, Contoh Swiss dia ter, eh, Swiss termasuk dalam wilayah Schengen, tapi dia tidak termasuk dalam European Union. Um, dengan satu Schengen visa ini kalian bisa traveling um, secara bebas ke 26 negara yang menjadi anggota dalam uh, area Schengen ini. So, because the other one, if you want to stay longer than the 90 days that the Schengen visa gives you, you need to apply for a national visa which has nothing to do with the Schengen agreement like that is done country by country. Ya. Yeah. Jadi sebenarnya ada dua macam visa yang kalian bisa dapatkan jika kalian mau ke Eropa. Um, kalau kalian ingin pergi um, ke Eropa dan stay uh, di bawah 90 hari, maka kalian perlu Schengen visa. Tapi kalau kalian ingin pergi dan stay di Eropa lebih lama dari 90 hari, maka kalian harus apply national visa. Stuff you can do with a Schengen tourist visa uh, is, of course, you can do tourism. Uh, you can visit relatives or friends if you have anybody who studies in Europe. Um, you can do language courses that are shorter than the 90 days. So some universities offer summer language courses that are two to three weeks. You can visit those. You can also do medical treatments if you need to get a surgery that you can't get in Indonesia, you can get it done in Europe. If you are on a business trip, you also can do this with this visa, or if you are working on a cruise ship that happens to dock in Hamburg or in Bremerhaven, in the two harbors that Germany has, you can also apply to that to leave the ship for the day or whatever you are there. Ya, uh, jadi apa aja yang bisa kalian lakukan dalam 90 hari? Sebagai contoh, kalau kalian ingin jalan-jalan atau turism, um, kalian butuhnya jadi Schengen Visa ya, bukan National Visa. Uh, contoh lain adalah kalau kalian ingin uh, berkunjung ke keluarga atau teman yang berada di Eropa. Uh, contoh lainnya adalah kalau kalian ingin ikut les bahasa. Jadi les bahasa ini, kalau lesnya Di bawah 90 hari, maka kalian butuh Schengen Visa. Uh, kalau kalian ingin ke rumah sakit, ingin berobat, atau ada um, meeting atau exhibition uh, yang berhubungan dengan bisnis, dan ingat ya, kata kuncinya adalah di bawah 90 hari. Kalau kalian bekerja di cruise ship atau kapal pesiar, kalian juga butuh Schengen Visa. Now, where could you apply for it? So since January 2019, um, the general visa applications for the tourist and everything that is related to the Schengen area is done by VFS Global, which is VFS Global is located in uh, Malcolm University uh, on the first floor. Yeah. Um, you you can't really miss it. There are signs everywhere. Last time we were there, but you can also still go to the German embassy since I'm from Germany, so like, you can still go there. Um, but they ask you, kindly ask you to do the VFS Global thing because it's just the sheer amount of uh, 
applications. Ya. Jadi um, sebenarnya dahulu itu semua visa um, aplikasi visa Schengen itu diurus oleh kedutaan Jerman di Jakarta. Uh, ada juga kedutaan eh, bukan kedutaan sih maksudnya uh, kantor uh, honorary consul tapi bukan di Jakarta ya. Nah tapi sejak 21 Januari 2019 Uh, seluruh proses pembuatan atau aplikasi visa Schengen telah dialihluarkan ke VFS Global. Nah, VFS Global itu di mana? Dia itu terdapat di Mall Kuningan City, lantai 1, uh, Jalan Profesor Dr. Satrio Kathleen 18, Setia Budi di Kuningan. Uh, kalian bisa datang, tentunya sebelum itu kalian harus buat janji dulu ya secara online. Uh, kalian bisa datang di sana setiap hari Senin sampai Jumat jam 8 sampai jam 12 dan antara jam 1 dan jam 3 siang. Uh, when you apply to a visa, obviously it's not going to be free. <laughs> And um, if you apply at the embassy, it will cost you 80 euros or 1.39 million rupiah uh, for an adult. Um, kids are a bit cheaper, they are half the price, so 40 euros or 700,000 rupiah. If you go to VFS Global, they charge you an extra of 250, uh, 280,000 rupiah as a service fee. Yeah. Uh, berapa biayanya jika kalian ingin uh, apply visa Schengen? Uh, biaya pokok adalah uh, 1.390.000 rupiah untuk dewasa atau setara dengan 80 euro sementara anak-anak uh, berusia 7 sampai 11 tahun uh, harganya 700.000 rupiah atau 40 euro dan anak-anak di bawah 6 tahun gratis uh, di VFS sendiri pun sama harganya tapi uh, kalian akan dikenakan biaya servis atau biaya tambahan sebesar 280.000 rupiah um, you can apply for a Schengen visa when you are a resident or citizen of Indonesia and your travel destination is either Germany or any other Schengen country and uh, or for Germany if you stay the longest in Germany do you, during your uh, your visit Nah, jadi siapa sih yang bisa uh, mengajukan visa Schengen di Indonesia? Uh, tentunya uh, warga negara Indonesia Uh, warga negara asing juga bisa mengajukan aplikasi visa Schengen di Indonesia jika mereka memiliki kitas atau kitab. Jadi um, turis turis asing uh, pada dasarnya tidak bisa apply di Indonesia ya. Jadi mereka harus apply di negara masing-masing. Jadi pasti ada yang tanya um, gimana caranya kita menentukan di, di negara mana kita apply visa Schengen itu? Karena kan ada 26 negara nih. Kalian misalnya mau Europe trip. Um, kalian bisa apply visa Schengen tersebut di um, satu uh, first point of entry maksudnya adalah kalian pertama kali sampai di Eropa itu di negara mana atau uh, poin kedua uh, negara mana yang kalian tinggali atau kalian kunjungi paling lama jadi contohnya kalau 10 hari mau ke tiga negara Jerman Paris dan Belanda um, 5 hari di Jerman, 3 hari di Paris, 3 hari di Prancis, 2 hari di Belanda. Nah, maka kalian harus apply di Jerman karena negara yang paling lama yang kalian kunjungi adalah Jerman. But if you Germany is your first point of entry but you stay in France for example, uh, you still can apply for it at the German embassy but it's probably more convenient for you to go to the French embassy. It doesn't matter in, in the Schengen area actually. When can you apply for a Schengen visa? The earliest you can apply now is six months, which was increased from three months. Um, and the shortest you can get is like two weeks before you plan to go to Europe. So. Jadi kapan kalian bisa apply visa Schengen? Uh, sebelumnya paling cepat itu tiga bulan, tapi sekarang peraturannya sudah berubah. Jadi kalian bisa apply paling cepat enam bulan di muka. Maksudnya enam bulan uh, dihitung dari tanggal kalian. dari tanggal rencana kalian pergi ke Eropa dan paling lambat atau paling dekat itu dua minggu dari tanggal keberangkatan kenapa? karena prosesnya nggak sebentar ya jadi kita benar-benar harus kasih jeda waktu untuk proses ini 
you should give them seven working days that doesn't include weekends so it's monday to friday and then monday tuesday so roughly one and a half weeks including weekends you probably if it's your first time you will have to show up in person because they need to take biometrics for the visa um, you don't need to show up in person if you had a Schengen visa in the last five years or if you already had your biometrics taken uh, for any other visa type. Nah, jadi um, perlu tidak kita datang langsung ke, ke kedutaan Jerman atau ke VFS Global untuk membuat visa ini. Biasanya kan kalau misalnya kalian bikin di uh, travel agent atau segala macam kan biasanya diwakili ya. Uh, tapi khusus untuk Schengen Visa, kalian harus datang secara langsung karena nanti fingerprint kalian akan direkam di, di VFS Global tersebut. Nah, kalian tidak harus datang secara langsung jika kalian sudah pernah punya visa Schengen uh, dalam kurun waktu 5 tahun terakhir. 